Hello again everyone, for a bear. Today we are back. That's right, we're gonna do a little bit of some stuff or not. Um where was we get Oh yes, Nomad. The Nomad game. Where you're pointing to kind of like a thing. <laughs> nomad. It's not that long though where I'm pointing in. So I, I gotta get to that. So we'll try to do that. The counseling staff is hosting an open house at small bird showers. Rock Nash you know and like refreshments will be available. Basically, from last mish, uh, last video, it was just the part one. Uh, with part one, it gave I. Uh, whew, excuse me, I explained to you guys that um, that basically the one, the last one we did, which was around on episode ten, somewhere along there. Uh, basically, on like this other mission that we did. This uh, other mission that we did. Is <laughs> oh, let's do that. Alright, okay, I think this is what it is. But anyway, so basically, the one mission we did was uh, some uh, nebula trans warp thing, Mahui. We went into like this nebula and we went happened for like some alien crystal like people thing, I have no idea. Uh took it over, this was like a different time thing, and I ended up seeing some other person some other people that was part of um Oh, what was that? Uh 
had to think, I have to think. Uh, some other people's, like, age, temple ages. Oh, that, oh, I'm tired today. So, yeah, temple agents, all that. It's kind of like, uh, you know. It was kind of weird. It was kind of weird, in my opinion. And we managed to get back, and that was, like, the last mission that I did, and I didn't see, like, anything else. There's supposed to be another mission given by Temple Agent Philip Curry at level 20 all, pl all over. Yet, sadly, I did not get it. So now we're paying, and there's nothing much on the Wikipedia of what exactly this mission is. So I'm probably going to have to find it maybe online, give you, give you guys a link down in the description if I could find it. Oh, oh excuse me. Uh... Oh yeah, so basically this one is coming up. This one is basically after the other one that we were supposed to use. Ship's core reactor is all like crap. Woo boy. Uh, well, we got nothing for her. Uh, operations officer. Oh, this is part of the Oh, this is part of the Okay, we'll probably do all that crap. All this stuff there. That better be a do for kind of loud. <laughs> of course, um. Uh, oh yeah, it was the Lego, f it was the Lego, uh, short film that I watched. <laughs> it was... Jump. <laughs> Why do my guys just jump off? What is that? <laughs> just jumped off like it is. Okay, anyway, and the guy like, did like this meme thing, like, saying, just assume my gender. <laughs> it was funny as can be. Now let's see. Yeah, let's
gonna do a thing. Hang on. I wanna see see what's inside of my ship to do. Okay, uh let's do a crew deck, because that's the another thing I haven't seen yet. Wow. Oh rounded. Alright, let's keep going. Let's take a look and see what other things we got. <laughs> I guess it's like over here we can probably like do like silly things going on I guess. I don't know. I feel like we'll look back up to the bridge later. Dude, this is one crazy ship. It's about to be like my lounge area <laughs> if I'm That's basically what it is. They've died in here. What's here? Look at this ship. Oh, this is part of the sick bay. Ew, this. Oh, this is my quarters. Man. Look at that pig. guys do your job. Don't do your job, I'll fire you all, or just have my ship explode with all you guys in it. Let's see. Stop fleet officer, doesn't mean say port. Okay, yeah, back to the turbo left. Right there.
actually in my ship yet. <laughs> I'm actually in my ship yet. I have to do that. <sighs> so stupid. Okay, so my, me and my medical person is just sitting right on the floor. Let's do this mission. So we're gonna go back to the 25th century. Hopefully we get to see Scotty. I'll give it all she's got. So <laughs> uh, it's gonna, so it's gonna be a classic with me.
check out the things on the way back. But we got a tour system to get, go to, and there's a whole lot more. Super far away, and how, and how does no one notice that? <laughs> well, time to do my duties. Uh, this is what this is. Like 23rd century. <laughs> Thank you. I've also transmitted files that will establish your cover identity as Tall Shiar security operatives. You'll need to put this data into their local network before entering the research facility, however. There's a comms satellite nearby that you can use to accomplish this. Understood. That is. Hope we do not screw anything up. Our vessel, cease all sensor scans of the device immediately. You do not have the proper clearance. Yeah, uh, watch your tone, not cool. We will respect your wishes for now. Yeah, here's babe. 
machines, just like the Klingons. Okay, just add that to my list of complete mass genocides I'm going to be doing. Not cool? Wait, no, first Klingons, sub Klingons, that are completely crap. What? Failure? You guys are so pathetic. Like a 30 minute one, yeah, you had to fail that. Congratulations, I hope you suck. No enemies, no enemies. So, se so the second race I'm gonna have to deal with. IRW Morari, this is Galorndon Station Command. Please transmit your security credentials. Data received, Morari. Welcome to Galorndon Core. Sending you transporter coordinates now. I've taken the liberty of informing Commander Chulak. I'm sure the director will want to greet you personally. Very well, I am. Yes, let's go before I have to die again. We're just temple agents, yeah, the clue. But not cool, we've got like a freaking Klingon doomsday machine for crying out loud that's that we just freaking destroyed all the way from the future. Doomsday machines seek and destroy planetary bodies, consuming what remains as fuel. And yet, there's one in orbit just sitting there peacefully. It looks like reports of the not cool gaining the ability to control the machines are accurate. We need to find out how, and fast. Your holographic disguises should conceal you while you search the facility. Good hunting. This area is restricted. You need to leave. Now. My orders are clear, Romulan. No one is to pass this point until the meeting is concluded. No one, not even Chulak himself. Okay, guess not. You guys suck. Subcommander, it is my duty to inform you that this area is restricted. Sir. No. Yes, Subcommander. At once. Forgive my rudeness. Access granted. Let me get the door for you. Okay, so in other words, this is Klingon technology that we have to do. Calmly. 
Subcommander, I've been instructed to grant you access to this facility. Of course, Subcommander. My family is a friend to the Tal Shar and loyal to the Empire. Access for you and your team is granted. Okay. So, let's find this office. Diamond, what? Diamond, what the heck are you doing? The Senate has dispatched an agent from an alien race known as the Nakul. Repugnant creature. But she's of a keen mind and cunning I can appreciate as a Romulan officer. If only her visage wasn't so... hideous. She boasts she has a weapon that will turn the tide in favor of Romulus. An old song, to be sure. But she sings it sweetly. Okay, I have no idea what this ways, and yeah, I agree with you. The Nicole looks like crap. Krog's mysterious backer, the so-called Envoy, has made an impression in the right circles of power. We'll see if he can deliver, however. Data on his miracle weapon is due to arrive soon. Those scars. Truly hideous. Krog is practically radiant in comparison. My researchers have analyzed the Nakul weapon data. It matches a report we have on an incident in Federation space involving a doomsday machine. If accurate, this weapon destroyed USS Constellation and nearly rid the cosmos of USS Enterprise. It seems Enterprise's thrice-damped captain exposed a vulnerability in the weapon. I shall have to address this with Krog upon her return. Well, no doubt, there's one easy flaw. And for crying out loud, it's... I don't want to say it though, but here's what I'm saying for this. That's exactly what that is, basically. <laughs> Just shoot a torpedo straight in that thing. Dang, and that's simple. Krog arrives tomorrow, along with her reportedly improved weapon. I believe the envoy will be making an appearance as well. It seems it's the season for guests. If my agents are to be believed, we'll be getting a visit from the Tal Shiar very soon. I'm already suffering the witless bureaucrat from the Senate. To endure the serpents of the secret police is nearly too much to ask of a true Romulan. Okay, this guy's a probably just say playing out, so we're gonna be on my list of genocide. Let's get out of here. Meaning, go to the conference room. Things with creative symbols. To go through those guys again, I guess I'm gonna be pissed if we have to. This thing is like right over here, conference room's up top, so it's pretty much like I have to go through here. Back through. 
Subcommander, if this doomsday weapon lives up to the Nakul woman's boasts, it will ensure the Empire's dominance over the entire quadrant. The Federation and the Klingons will have no choice but to bend the knee to Romulus, or face annihilation. Of course. However, even a cornered beast knows when it has lost. Greetings, Subcommander. I knew it was only a matter of time before the fabled Tal Shiar came to call. The Nakul have brought a glorious weapon to your empire. You won't be disappointed. I can assure you. Let me give you some beauty tips, lady. You do not look like a piece of crap that just came out of the oven. It's like a, it's like, a, it's like my school's lunch. It's like um, a cheesy grilled. Ooh, what the heck? It's a cheesy grilled work for us. It's kind of hot dogs, kind of like wrinkled off. off. This one shall, Sub Commander, beyond measure. Your attention, please. Let's begin, shall we? We thank Specialist Krog of Nakul for joining us. We have concerns about the dangers involved with this weapon. You have nothing to fear from the machine, my friend. Would you be so confident if you were here, Envoy? Utterly so, Commander. What? Soon, the Doomsday Machine will bring our foes to their knees. Bold words, Envoy. We shall see, won't we? It would seem a demonstration is in order. See to it, Krog. As you wish. Shall we, Commander? Very well. Show me what this beast of yours can do. It will be my pleasure. Enjoy the show, interloper. They are using holographic disguises, guards. Deal with them. <laughs> oh, we just walk away. <laughs> right, we have to go to deal with. Well, we're exposed. So... Enemy target
Shotgun. We're trying to get our computer to interface with that Nakul control console, but their tech is quite advanced. I need at least five minutes to integrate it. My spot says, you've got to, oh, there's an enemy fleet and a live doomsday machine on there. Your uninvited guests will make a fine target for the weapon, Chulak. And what's going on? What
Activating shutdown protocol. Now. Something is wrong. It's not working. It's firing indiscriminately.
and that earns you a reprieve. For now, leave while you still can. I won't ask twice. Okay, and I'm sorry about the whole nuke out on your thing, because we're trying to fire in the fun side. Uh, there's so I can meet you in the ship once we affect the bridge. Then our cool ship must have detonated within the Doomsday Machine. Disrupted it somehow. This must feel like a Pyrrhic victory at best. Too. <laughs> An uh, occupational hazard, I'm afraid. I'll be fine. What matters is that Chulak and his allies would have killed billions had their plan succeeded. Instead, his life is a cautionary tale, forever disgraced by his loss here today. Hey, your face changed! What the heck? Dude, you might as well get some ointment or something on that. Jeez. We stopped them this time, at great cost. Clearly, the Nakul and their leader, this envoy, are willing to do anything to win this war, even commit genocide. It's unfortunate that Chulak didn't stand up to the Nakul sooner. It might have prevented this tragedy today. Alright, so if I'm understanding this correctly, we just, we just like nearly wiped out the entire planet of those guys. Well, cross those guys off. <laughs> He said there's a few left, but they were... Uh, let's see. I don't know. Let's do this. Congratulations, Captain. Okay. That was crazy. Let's get into the next one. Why captain? We haven't even gone through the tank of man and the captain yet. Crazy. Okay, next mission. Lead in here. Oh, we are wasteland. Was it me? Okay, I gotta look this up here, see what there is, because I think, um, I really think I screwed up, I'm pretty much sure, <laughs> I'm pretty much sure I screwed up, I know that, but it's like, heck, I kept dying because of these my cool ships and my pieces of crap, and I got this thing, and then blown up the smithereens while these guys are dying. I got into the thing by like a couple of times. Okay. So you see, this is where it was supposed to be. Uh, I got like secret anomalous. So take a look at the core of the matter. It's obviously, well now I'm kind of following the timeline a little bit, but it's kind of weird. Uh, fossil door. Basically, let's take a look at the other one that was supposed to be next. Oh, well, this is actually 43. This is supposed to seated by high, but you need to be like level uh, 43, so we're, n <laughs> we're really not going in order here. So, basically, this is the thing. There's been a temple disturbance in the 27th century. It's happening in order to serve the problem targeting the scientists. Big, we must keep it. Uh, okay, so I think the episode is going on. So let's do Scribbling Blues by Franklin Drake. 
Done. He's not saying anything. Okay, we have a situation in the mood of system, Captain. Romulan Republic intelligence suggests that we are that there are triggers for Dungeon weapons are somewhere on the planet of this three. Uh, there are increasingly reports of Talislaw activity on the planet. Most people share clearly of the Brothers 3 to date. The Alliance it basically runs the planet, obviously, through. Uh, through. Though, though, obviously, though, it would be a disaster if Tal Ma Talishaw managed to get their hands on the Tal triggers to take control of the planet, starting down um, not only Hell's planet, that means Starfleet intelligence. Science of democratic connections with only in Culpa. Now that I can count on you to do the right thing. Uh, understood. I knew I, I knew I could get you uh, on it. Uh, you'll be looking for a man named Torres Gump. Torres is a, is a local student of the three. Plan is deep in the hands, yada yada. Okay. So, not. Only that we just played mass genocide. You know what? Let's go into the corridor. Guess not. I guess not. I guess my mass genocide did a whole lot of damage. Uh, that was bad. That was bad. Uh, make a primary. See if he is still on. Can't mess with that thing. Who else have you seen? He's on, uh, Station. Mission that we need to go to at a wow, boy Nelly. Okay, let's yeah, let's go here. traveling out i'll see you guys later take care i'm checking out these stations off camera but peace out we just created genocide in this galaxy so boy that was bad uh also <laughs> daniel i think i think i know what the uh, the, uh, the thing is it's basically if anything kind of like slightly changes is in um with in the timeline, he actually changes. He changes from a more younger uh, guy to a little bit older because of that little change. And he's going to lose his powers if these uh, little changes keep on happening. So I guess that's what's going on. So I completely just created genocide and I am kind of proud almost. Kind of proud besides hating the Federation. Hating Klingons, I totally agree with you, but yeah, that. So, I'm. It's a 50 50. Just create a genocide with the Doomsday Machine, leave the rest to live. I, I guess that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Peace out.